A startling discovery of skeletal remains in a body bag has turned into a criminal investigation by police. This past weekend, police were called to an area in East Grand Bahama where human remains were discovered in a white body bag by persons clearing down bushes. Our ZNS News team dug a little deeper to investigate the circumstances surrounding the placement of the remains. Our Ramiko Knowles joins us live in studio with the latest. Ramiko? That's right, Simone. The skeletal remains discovered on the eastern end of the island was an odd discovery that prompted an investigation by police and sparked an even greater debate among residents, many questioning who could have placed the human skeleton in a body bag, then dump it in a remote area in East Grand Bahama. Well-placed sources told our ZNS news team that a funeral director, who we now know is unlicensed, was allegedly paid to cremate the deceased person, but that did not happen. There are only two funeral homes in Grand Bahama that offer crematorium services, Yeager Cedar Crest Funeral Home and Crematorium and Rescue Memorial Mortuary. The funeral director at Yeager Funeral Home, Jamal McSweeney, says it is an unfortunate situation and he cannot believe that someone would commit such a heinous act. If a family has someone that has passed away, they should first of all want to choose a funeral home that's reputable. When I'm saying reputable, they have a building um, that has pretty much been established. There's an office that you can come to and make some arrangements. So what you're paying for, basically, you should receive. But those left to handle the remains of their loved one did not get the service they requested. Sources tell our news team that the tow tag was still on the decomposed body when it was discovered. McSweeney notes that there are some cases when a funeral home would outsource the crematory service to those who can render it. Uh, you would have to bring some documents in. You receive a cremation request and you receive some authentic ashes and the ashes of your loved one. So even if you come to a funeral home and you want to see um, the remains of your loved one entered into the crematorium, that could happen. But there was a bigger issue at hand, according to President of Rescue Memorial Mortuary, Keith McSweeney. He says the Mortuary Association has been attempting to get the industry regulated for some time now to avoid persons who are not qualified from conducting such services without proper licensing. When I call them, I call them ACA, so-called funeral directors. No nothing, no license, no funeral home, no facilities, no nothing. And you taking people love one. What is more serious is these guys standing on people's death certificate. A death certificate is a legal document. So you go over with this saying you're a mortician, and you take a, people, a person medical certificate that you get from the hospital and go to the registrar. And you file that and you sign on that. That's fraud. The question now is how many other families have received ashes that are said to be the remains of their loved ones, but are not. Yeager family director is making this appeal to those looking to cremate their loved one. Any funeral home that you go to, according to what you want to happen for your loved one or what you're choosing, I'm sure they can facilitate your needs and costs and so forth. And even if you want to go and look at another funeral home to find out, but make sure it's a place that has a physical address and reputable. So it's two ways. You let someone come and talk to you and say they're a funeral director. Um, where are their credentials? Where did they study? What makes them a funeral director? Those are questions that you ask yourself. Where are you located? And then you proceed from there. Now, Simone, we understand that a Grand Bahama man is assisting police with this investigation, but police have remained tight-lipped on this case as it is a very sensitive matter. This is a story that our ZNS Northern Service team will continue to follow. Live in studio, I'm Ramiko Knowles. Back to you on the desk.